You're watching Street Grace, and I'm your host, Earl Middleton. I went to the Baldwin Hills Crenshaw Plaza today looking for prejects. Watch this. So can you tell me your name? Uh, Ted Walker. Okay, Ted, and what kind of relationship have you had with your parents? Uh, well, first of all, when I was born, uh, my mother and father, neither one of them wanted me at the time. You know, my mother was 17 and my father was 20. And, you know, my mother was a daughter of a minister, so during that time in that episode, you know, he really didn't, you know, want her to have me at that time, but she decided to have me. Then when she had me, she couldn't stay at home. She's 17, she couldn't be on the street, so, you know, she called my father up and asked my father to come get me, and my father didn't want to come get me, so, I was, uh, she left me in a hotel room, and uh, just by the grace of God, a woman that my dad was seeing at the time, you know, her and her daughter came and got me out the motel room, and, you know, so growing up I was, you know, with my father and, you know, my stepmom, which is really my real mom, she had me ever since birth practically, so. The trajectory for a preject's life is set by the time they reach 13 years old. So Ted, have you ever felt rejected by either of your parents? Well, I've always felt rejected from my mom because growing up, you know, my mom never really made an effort to be a part of my life or, you know, to come see me, visit me. And I think the one time she did, I was like five, but my dad didn't want me to see her you know, then, so I didn't really find my mom till I was like 18 and a half, almost 19 years old. You know, my father, you know, went in Vietnam at 18 years old and, you know, coming out not being a high school graduate and going to Vietnam and coming back home, he was a, a you know, a real functional alcoholic, so I never really had a relationship with my father, so it was always, a feel of rejection there because I could never get close to him and then he's with a woman that got her own kids so she's not really trying to relate to me like she relate to her own so all my life I have taught myself everything from ride skates to skateboard to bike driving a car to everything myself so yeah. all my life even though I grew up in a home with two parents I felt like I had no parents only aggressive intervention can change that trajectory. Uh, Ted, how has uh, your feelings of being rejected um, impacted your life today? How is it affecting you today? Well, it's impacted me in a lot of ways because, you know, first of all, I, to have a real deep issue with trust, you know, not to really trust not a lot of things so that means you know by me not trusting a lot of things it, it holds me back from even achieving greater things because if I feel I don't trust it not saying that that is the right thing to do at that time then you know it stops me from gaining the head you know making my life better you know maybe even you know put myself in a better position um, position to make my life better um, like I said, with relationships, not not trusting, you know, you know the the opposite sex and that type of things. I know, and I can look, and I can understand that numerous good good women that I have had in my lifetime that was there for me, you know. But by me feeling the way I am, it. it, it turned them away and, and I, I messed up a lot of good situations in my life that I know right now I wouldn't be in the situation I'm in and, and my life would be better because I would have, you know, a good presence, a good backbone, a good, you know, foundation, but because of things that I didn't get, didn't learn, didn't have, didn't understand, it, it, it really you know, truly mess my life up to, to some extent because to be 39, you know, still be, you know, alone and not have help and, you know, it, it, it made my, my, my life and my struggle harder, you know, way more worse than it could ever be if I, you know, would have just had a, you know, good foundation or, you know, an understanding or even a trust 
of that aspect. So, you know, it, 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 it damaged me in, in ways that I'm still trying to, you know, figure out the healing process for it. Take advantage of the resources on this site to heal your damaged soul.